What is up, guys? It is Tommy from Gamers of the Republic here playing Dead Island Riptide, and this will be a two episode, uh, two part episode with the subject of next generation consoles. And, uh, this, this one is gonna be Xbox One versus PS4, and the next one is gonna be those consoles versus the Wii U. So, this is just gonna be an overall comparison. Uh, I'll try not to be biased, but I already know what council I will be buying, so it might end up being a little that way. Now, before the uh, recent week, uh, Sony was completely destroying Xbox for what uh, reasons I thought were very, very stupid. Um, they were they're considered DRM features, and what they did is they wanted you to check on in online every 24 hours and the reasons for that were very misunderstood the reasons for that were actually because they wanted to make sure games were not being pirated because what they're running it like what they were planning on running it like was a lot like steam the modern day steam which is actually where i bought this game and i love steam and so do most people but people did not like it because the Xbox for some reason, and um, what all it was doing is just making sure you're not pirating those games because you can download them to your console and then you officially have them. And if people are always offline, they're just giving games around and stuff. But they were forced to remove it because of reasons people were pissed off. And another one people were really pissed off about was the use game uh, policy. And in reality, X Microsoft was not taking any money from the use games. Where the money was actually going to was the producers who create the game. The money would not be taken from you. It would be taken from the game. It would have been taken from like companies like GameStop and other people that taken used games. Because Microsoft felt that used games were kind of a loophole in uh, for companies that were really working very very hard to make these games. So they're like, all right, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna talk this over with you. What we'd like to enact a feature where you guys get extra money because we feel that's not fair and in a way it wasn't it's just not um, the company should get rights for that and it's just harming them in many many ways but it was removed and that's how it's gonna be I guess now they're just uh, I, a lot of people are stating it as uh, the Xbox one has come back down to the PS4's level and instead of taking a full step forward, we're now taking a half step forward. Because the, the hardware in the devices has improved a lot compared to the old consoles. It's now up on the level of, like, a PC. And it's really cool. But as for just, like, stepping forward, they're not doing too much. But I will say, in my opinion, that Xbox is taking a bigger step forward than Sony. And the reasons is, a lot of people don't understand really what the Xbox One is designed for. And what the Xbox One is designed for is it's supposed to be an all-in-one entertainment system. It's not just a gaming system, it's a living room replacement. That is why it's called the Xbox One, because it is designed to be an all-in-one entertainment system. It has the features where you can control your entire living room from your couch using the Kinect and allowing the Xbox to do it for you. It has integration that actually makes it easier to watch TV, watch movies, browse the web. It's basically a lot like a computer. The Xbox runs three different operating systems at once, including the Xbox actual actual Xbox uh, software for gaming. It runs a version of Windows 8, and it runs the software that patches the two together to make them run very smoothly. And what the Windows uh, part of the operating system will do is it operates the multitasking, the movies, the uh, marketplace, TV, and um, other stuff like that, browsing the internet, searching, that's what's handled by that. And the Xbox handles the stuff like playing games, um, editing video, that kind of stuff, uh, to make your experience better. And that is a really cool feature in my idea, so there's going to be more video editing software. And all the features that just bring the council the together Lagoon, more than the PS4 did. Totally of course, the PS4 did Once take a giant step forward as well, but not to the point of the Xbox Three, Xbox One. 
Um, they can now have a bunch of apps built into it. They brought over some uh, games from the computer. They have a little bit more indie support than they did before. But I don't know as much about the PS4 as I do about the Xbox. But uh, yeah, it's just that. Now I'm gonna get back to a less bad, uh, just an informational part, and I'm gonna talk about what both consoles have for hardware. Um, they're, uh, consoles are basically even on hardware capabilities. There's only one difference, and that is the fact that the uh, PlayStation has GDR5 RAM compared to the Xbox GDR, DDR3. And to be honest, there's not too much of a difference in that. You're not going to notice really any difference in quality from either system. And they are both cloud powered. But, uh,. Some things that Xbox has worked off about the cloud is you can access all your games from anywhere now, which is really, really nice. Uh, which is a lot, which is where the Steam like interface comes in. Um, they have these things called drive avatars for uh, Forza. And what those do is it learns from how you race and how your friends race and other people race. And it makes the games um, races more challenging and it allows you to actually race that person when they are not online. It'll be with their car and they will actually race like they normally would because it actually learns from them. And it learns how they do it and when they would do it. And it's a very cool feature and it's bringing in the future of gaming. Unfortunately, the PlayStation did not get that for their next console and it is quite unfortunate for them and it would be cool if they had but it, they just didn't get to that point yet. And uh, let's, go to, let's talk about console exclusives. Um, for the Xbox, they have uh, exclusives like Titanfall, Rise, Halo, uh, Sunset Overdrive. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, for the first couple of months, Dead Rising 3 will be an exclusive. Um, so they're pulling another one of those cards where they get everything early, which is nice. I love that. Um, I don't really think of all the exclusives right now, but I know the PS4 has got exclusives. Like, um, they got a lot of, uh, I've brought over a lot of games from the PC. Like, uh, Black Light Retribution, um, let's see here, what's the other one? I know, Planetside 2, which I like those games, but I, and I wish they would have gotten the Xbox, but unfortunately they didn't. Um, there's also the fact that they have, um, I know there was more. I can't exactly remember. Whatever else, I'll think of it later. Of course, they have their uh, Infamous, Uncharted, and other games like that. Um, and some games they will both be getting are uh, Battlefield, Call of Duty. Um, I, I just can't remember at the moment. Let's just get back to the consoles. Um, the controllers are two very, very different things in many different ways. Uh, the new PS4 controller now has a touchpad in the middle. And I'm not gonna lie, that's one stupid thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's a controller. It's not, um, no, it's like that. Um, I don't even like using the touchpad on my computer. It's annoying and useless. So basically, putting that into it was uh, very, very stupid in my opinion. And of course, nobody's bringing that up because one thing I've noticed about the PS4 fans is they'll bring up the Xbox console and they'll say all these terrible things about it, but they will never actually bring up what their console actually does. And it really annoys me because when the, a lot of the Xbox fans will actually express why they would have prefer the Xbox, but I've, I have yet to see a comment by a PlayStation fan that has actually brought up a valid point about why they would prefer it and what it does better. And it's kind of like, you're just fanboying, and then you're accusing us of fanboying because we bring up valid facts, and it's just annoying. It's very, very annoying. And I think they need to stop bringing up the Xbox flaws and actually talk about what their console does and why it's so much better in their opinion. Which is what I do. When I comment on one of those things, I will tell them why I think the Xbox is better. I'll express its new features, its new kind of exclusives, and why it's just better. And... PS4 controller has kept the same shape as the PS3 controller, so you will not see any differences there. Um, it's just the same thing that you've been used to. Um, but the Xbox 
one controller has made some improvements. It is the same shape as the previous one. Um, according to Microsoft, they have made 40 new innovations, including uh, a big one to the triggers, which will now send information back and improve. They work faster, and it's supposed to be really nice because the developers can program it better, which means response times will be faster and lag won't be as much of an issue as what I'm guessing. I have no idea what the actual story is. But it's really nice. Apparently they uh, rearranged the battery pack. And it's basically the same controller, just like the PS4. But they don't have the stupid touchpad. Which is, I was glad about that, because I don't like that touchpad on the PS4. So, props to that for it. But, um, interface is, uh... The Xbox basically has the same interface as it did with the other Xbox, uh, 360 Xbox Live. Uh, they have added things like home, it'll show you what you were last playing, it'll show recommendations. And it's more personalized than the uh, previous Xbox Live. So, which means it'll be a little easier to understand and use. Um, they added a lot of hand motions to the Kinect as well. And a lot of people are complaining about the Kinect as well, saying, is, oh, it's going to spy on me. And I'm sorry to tell you, but everyone's being spied on from everywhere at any time. Uh, if you haven't heard the news lately, the NSA has just been told, uh, they had a leak telling people, uh, they say that they are actually making a ginormous, um, tracking center. I don't know where it is, but they will be monitoring all cell phones, computers, basically anything. They're probably listening to this right now, actually, and it's kind of creepy and shocking how it's actually legal. It, it is legal, actually, and it's just shocking that it actually is. So, they, it doesn't matter if they're watching you through Connect, they're watching you everywhere. And you can actually turn the Connect off if you do not want it to be listening and always on. So, you can turn it off. There's no problem there. You can do that. And the PS4 does not have anything, but I think they actually have a webcam, a webcam idea. And I think they're innovating on the PlayStation Move. So, that's. A step forward. Um, let's see here. Design of the actual console. Um, I'm going to be honest. I was disappointed in both. Uh, the PS4 looks like an eraser, and the Xbox One looks like a giant box. And some people say, "Oh my God, it looks like a VCR." And yeah, it kind of does, but. It doesn't have to look nice, it needs to work nice, which is why I really don't care about design. You can make it look like a pentagon. You can make it look like a rhombus, and I would not give a crap, as long as it does it what I want it to do. And that is perform, and give me the features that I will appreciate and will in the future. And... Another thing that a lot of people are overlooking the fact is you will now pay for PlayStation Network. You will now have to buy PS uh, Plus, which is the same price as Xbox Live a month. And uh, that's the one thing I've actually heard Sony fans actually talk about as being good. Um, they say you give free stuff a lot. But the same goes for Xbox. You get lots of just... Um, and they actually do have programs loyalty programs you can sign up for on Xbox now where they will give you free money uh, for like uh, let's say recommending a friend to Xbox Live or getting a certain amount of gamer score or just playing games really and that's really nice that's a good way to reward and now currently you can get this month it's only one game but uh, for the next six to eight months you will be getting two free games a month and next month will be Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2, which I will definitely be Assassin's Creed 2. And I've already downloaded this month's game, which was Fable 3, and I love it. Um, you say it, it's a very fun, and it's uh, it's actually pretty good graphics for its uh, for a 2010 game. It looks about on par with games of today, and I love it. Um, but back, PS Plus has some very cool features too. Uh, apparently, you get uh, map packs discounted and games discounted a lot, which is cool and all, but um, I don't think I'd ever really use it because if I'm gonna buy a game, I buy it. I mean, that's a lot like Steam too. So everyone's kind of biting off Steam at this point, 
and some people are liking some of the features and other people are not liking the features and it's just causing giant council wars and it's just annoying um, a lot of people are getting really pissed off at council wars and I'm here just to provide a non um, an accurate um, depiction of my opinion of the entire thing and in my opinion the Xbox One does win this battle um, they get more support for their stuff like they get stuff early as you can see Dead Rising and uh, there's a few more actual that you'll be getting two months early on Xbox which is awesome and just the exclusives they called it up like we already have 15 console exclusives that will be released in the first year and they said they're gonna planning on getting more which is nice and it shows the care Ooh, ooh here's a big issue I've been having lately uh, a lot of people are saying Xbox only changed their way because they care about money but I disagree to the fullest uh, I have in the past seen Microsoft work very hard to please their customers including I will look on their Windows page I just look at it a couple weeks ago and people were complaining oh Microsoft doesn't listen and they were actually talking to the people in the yeah. comments and asking Two, what they want to change and what they didn't like oh, and they actually no, need to told it the to the guys that were working on window, uh, uh, updates from Windows downstairs like alright what do you guys want and they're like, oh, we want this. I will right, go talk to the guys downstairs for you. Um, another example is when the original Xbox was out, and people didn't like how big the controller was. They're always like, oh, it's way too big. I can't deal with this. And they're like, all right, we'll make it smaller. So they made it smaller. Um, people didn't like the paying for Xbox Live, so they made it worth it. They added new features. They updated everything. They added so much more. Um, and people said. Oh my buddy, it's wrong. Bill Gates is one of the least selfish people you meet. Millions of dollars to charity. Every year. Every single freaking year. Multi-million dollar contributions. He used to fly coach until like four years ago. Yeah. He didn't even have his own jet. Until like five or six years ago. And he literally quoted, I wish I wasn't rich. One of the richest men on earth. Because I hate all the attention. But uh, that it wraps up this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, rate, and subscribe. And tell me which counsel you're buying in the comments. All right. Thanks.